We're standing in Ice Age Giants. This is a uh, kind of a chronicle of the museum's work in the last 30 years with mastodons and mammoths. Found in nearly every county of the Hoosier State, these ancient teeth and bones are all that remain of these majestic giants that roamed thousands of years ago. You often think, well, dinosaurs are somewhere else. Everything is found somewhere else in the world. But no, we've got our own big things here. And uh, it's just part of, of the Hoosier State. Uh, behind me is Fred, one of our most famous uh, mastodon skeletons. It was found up in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and our, our exhibit preparator, Mike Smith, mounted this. I mean, he, he cold bent, he hot bent, he welded in, he did all kinds of things to make a wonderful frame to mount this. The tusks are, are a cast because the real ones are too heavy, but most of the stuff you see here uh, with the bones with all the many colors in them, those are, that's all real bone. Here's a, a beautiful skull we got. Monticello, the Anderson Mastodon. I mean, she's just wonderful. We, we, we dug this up, we, uh, we hit it with, digging with wooden tools, so there's no metal scratch marks on it. It's in, in perfect shape. One of my favorite parts is the Hall of Giants, where we basically fillet out uh, all these, a lot of skeletons. So even if you don't know the names of the bones, you can see where they would go. You can see, well, that's the rib cage, that's the vertebrae. And you can see, well, where are the legs? You know, where are the hips? You can see that not everything is always found. Even partially complete fossils can tell us a lot about these extinct creatures. Modern techniques of analysis have dug a path to amazing new discoveries. There's so much new molecular information. Uh, I mean, people look at all these uh, isotopes of carbon and, and nitrogen and, and oxygen and they can begin to see what, what's going on with climate, look at their health, uh, sectioning tusks. You can see when uh, on a juvenile, if, if the early part of their life history is still in the tusk, very often they break off, but if they've got that early part of their life history in the tusk, they can see when the animal actually went uh, from weaning from mother's milk and went on to vegetation uh, for food. So the tusk has got an awful lot of history and there's a lot of that going on right now. The Indiana State Museum has been hard at work for decades digging, discovering, and preserving ancient elephants. But there's still more mysteries to be solved. And you might not have to look much further than your own backyard. Indiana is a place where there's a lot of prehistory buried under the soil. And that a lot of this is mammoth and mastodon because they are so big. I mean, it's almost a graveyard, an elephant graveyard throughout Indiana.